the Raytheon Quadcopter Challenge is our key STEM event. We run it yearly to try and get as many schools and youth organisations involved in a STEM activity as possible. And uh, all of our sites take part, so we actually cover all of the British Isles. It's fantastic. The Quadcopter Challenge event just inspires and, and excites children about some of those STEM technologies. What I love about it is that quite a lot of the schools, um, the children participating might not really have thought about STEM subjects and this is a way to give them an insight into those careers. These young people have come from all over the UK and I've just been so impressed at both the technical engineering prowess they've showed but also how they've learned to work together as a team and they've clearly grown as people during the process so it's been that beautiful mix of skills and personal development. Throughout the whole entire process I've learned skills like flying the drone obviously, building drones. I've never flown or touched a drone in my life. I've learned skills like working as a team obviously and building it, manufacturing, planning, drawing, designing, lots of skills. The skills I learned through the process was really teamwork and really the whole STEM and communication, how it's important to uh, uh, share ideas and your role is the role you've got to exceed in and I learned really a lot about engineering, how small modifications on the drone can affect its flying ability and really just to work really well as a team. I think I've learned the best about teamwork and how I'm to deal with stress because building a quadcopter isn't like the most easiest thing in the world to build and it takes a lot of like patience with your team but also working together to make it. It's an absolute pleasure for me to see the young people working together as groups to develop and deliver something as impressive as they have done today because if I think about the future of the Royal Air Force or the future of industry, these are the people who will inherit the, uh, the challenges that we'll face in the next century. So what has impressed me most today has been their communication skills. Uh, they've clearly worked hard as teams together, but the way they presented the designs and the sustainability that they've put into their models has been the highlight of the day for me today.